Alright, this is gonna be interesting. Metroid Prime 3 Corruption. Um so I have played uh, Metroid Prime Remastered first one, right? And I did see someone after that mentioned that they was thinking the third one is the best one. And I think it could be fun just to check that out. But uh, for me it was fun because Metro Prime 3 had support for like dual stake, right? And with my Steam controller, you know, my good crossy Steam controller, you could kind of get uh, some kind of, you know, mouse emulation going. Which is nice. This is running on uh, the Dolphin emulator, right? But it is a fork or a hack of it. Prime hack. I'm gonna link it down below for you. Which basically adds mouse and keyboard. And that means that I can use my Steam controller in mouse and keyboard mode for best gyro precision and aiming. I'm gonna see, you know, how this game feels, how it looks and everything. Also, the Prime hack works with Auto HDR for Windows, so meaning I can do this with mouse and keyboard full good aiming support and oops by HDR. Um yeah, that's gonna be cool. <clears throat> I might have to tweak my Steam controller settings and, and stuff like that, but yeah. Let's get into it first here. Um, also, this is running in 16 by 9 It's uh, it's really great. Um, I don't remember, I set this up actually like a month ago, so I don't remember if I did anything like special, unfortunately. Um, Alright. So yeah, I have no clue about if, I don't, I think it's pretty easy like unpack it, download it, you know, from the GitHub, unpack it. Make sure you have your copy of Prime ready for it and tweak some basic graphic settings and then just, uh, you know, off you go. Um, it wasn't really anything super complicated, at least to my knowledge. It might be interesting if you need to remap, but it's uh, not super complicated or anything. You can use the in built in menus and stuff, and the game will actually tell you, hey, do you wanna remap the correct way or not so um, yeah and i try to resize the window to fit correctly in obs here in a second i just needed this uh, <laughs> intro here to be done yeah it's gonna be interesting to see you know if how through mouse and keyboard like <laughs> uh, feels compared to the prime hack with the uh, emulation, the Yosik emulation. We're, we're using the Steam's API for that. Um, this, let's see. There we go. It should be by nine. Now. Uh, always the prime. Uh, Dreamers that had better graphics, right? But still, this is gonna be a bit upscale and, you know, the Dolphin Emulator hack. On the top right, you can see how it's running. And I'm using, you know, AMD Ryzen 5600X. Uh, it's actually being... It's tweaked, but it's not super overclocked or anything. I'm actually limiting, underbolting, you might say. Um, and I'm running my graphics card as RTX 3070. The graphics card isn't as important as the CPU. And 32 gig of system memory is not as important. Most important is going to be your CPU for getting this to run smoothly. So Ryzen 5600X is not by today's standard the most crazy or anything. So it's gonna you know, be a good chance that you can run this. So this is the first weird thing, right? Um, Incoming transmission. Unidentified vessel, please switch to a secure radio frequency. 
frequency and transmit your identity code. We are standing by. That compared to the first one, it's a started off really, really weird here. But right, I don't think this is necessary for the game. Not. It's very weird from like the metro thing, but all right. Um. I I I generally feel that this is not really necessary for me. This is just stopping me from just playing the game here. Proceed to the command ship Olympus. <laughs> You've been cleared for docking bay five. Welcome back, Samus. I guess they. Obviously the controls are going to be not super correct. I think there is a little bit of tweaking for the in-game controls to match a little bit better, but it's not perfect or anything, so... But once you get to play the game a little bit, I'm sure you memorize the, what the controls do, do and stuff like that. Uh, looks very sharp here. No, not top notch graphics anything, but it looks sharp and... I like the color so far. Again, it is with the HDR oof. Um, a double check. But yeah, it does make a difference. The HDR. Can you stop flashing so I can tweak this? No, okay. Yeah, I can see the bright, bright stuff being more highlighted so i think the tshdr might be good for this this is a again it's a brighter game uh, this one really gets boosted with auto hdr the highlights still have the lock on it's really much greater than the primary master with the emulation uh, for the steam controller here like, the, the aiming is just uh, much 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 better here rotate all right They go to the again this I don't really feel is necessary but oh. sorry I'm on duty I can't talk now uh, oh that looks really nice with HDR here I really think that auto HDR can be a nice addition here so uh, if we can get to some gameplay runs you know smooth so far double jump i have my fourth ball short shot i'm sure we're gonna lose everything just we get into it welcome aboard samus the pirate attacks must have the old man nervous looks like Oops. he's getting ready for full-scale invasion no joke last time this many fighters were scrambled was during the horus rebellion hey samus that these walkway so mechanisms aren't working something must be jamming the gears dun, 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 dun. <laughs> okay so I'm gonna do a let's try and probably the thing is that I most likely will do the stream where I just play this uh, live. I'm gonna do this here. Yeah, it's a big difference 
India has the bright highlights, so HDR is nice. Uh -oh. I'm sorry, I'm on duty. I can't talk right now. That's scanning. Just trying to get the off the with the controls. Uh, so when you're watching this, I might have started playing this live. Uh, push and hold. This works anyway, so... <laughs> uh, oh, okay. Okay. That's the B button. Um. There we go. Log in. I don't know. This so far this doesn't feel better than anything else here. Uh, one, three, five, seven, six. It uh, might be interesting just adding a difference to this game, but I don't know. Registration number 13576. Identified as bounty hunter Samus Aaron. Preparing biohazard scan. Man, does it feel Please much better than the prime with, with true, like, gyro and stuff like that. Okay, I asked, this is just best FPS controller. It's so sad there is no al alternative. Uh, I'm gonna have, be so sad when this is uh, gives up. I'm so happy I could fix the back battery cover here with this one. Get a 3D printed one. The thing I'm afraid now to, to fail is the joystick and that's... I'm not sure I can gonna be able to <laughs> do anything about that. Um, right, I also wanna try something. Do we have... oops. What? Oh, okay. I... Oh, that's zoom in. Oh, oops. <laughs> Those two buttons are zoom in and zoom out. Okay. It's gonna be interesting to memorize that. We can move the map a little bit around. We can in it. I'm going the right way so far. Um, what 
wanted to try to see what happens if we... Oh, the visor is gone. But then I don't see my HP, right? Yeah, I don't see my HP. Well, that sucks. All right. I'm sorry, but this requires my full attention. Aren't you Samus Aaron? It's an honor to meet you. Right, we're going the right way. And scan. Feels great. It looks, you know, I don't mind the graphics. I think it has a, like. Even uh, the texture here, even the, in the, the dolphin with, you know, the little bit of upscaling, still have an interesting touch to the graphical style. And, I, you know, I like the HDR that umps the colors and the highlights up, giving you know, a bit more oomph. Especially here, it's very noticeable on the gun that the HDR really is super bright and nice looking. So cool that we have the auto HDR to do stuff like that. Aren't you Samus Aaron? It's an honor to meet you. Greetings, Samus. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm on duty. I can't talk about it. So far, it's uh, been a pretty much a smooth ride. Running great, looking great. Teaching me about uh, the save station, pretty much. So yeah, I don't think I'm gonna do this uh, series is uh, in a video format. I think it's a night. This is a good like stream. Game to try to get into more streaming, so yeah, movement feels really good. We no complaints except that I don't feel that this is fun for me. I just want to get into the action, the exploration. <laughs> So I have not played the second one, I did play Prime Remaster. And that was overall fun. I do wish, wish that they like remake, remaster all of the versions, right? There's a lot of love for this 3D Prime series, so... here now. Before I begin the briefing, let me introduce 242, the flagship's Aurora unit. Ah, an organic supercomputer. Fascinating. It's my understanding that the Galactic Federation's core network is comprised of such units. That is correct, Lord. And we serve as the network's master control. However, currently the network is down. That seems inefficient, but necessary. You see, seven days ago we discovered that all of our units were infected with an unknown virus. We were forced to bring the network down. Fortunately, our scientists were quickly able to devise a vaccine. Unit 242 was the first AU to receive the vaccine. We were able to completely purge the virus. Where did this virus come from? We believe the virus is of space pirate origin. 
Four months ago, the GFS Valhalla went missing while on a training mission in the Klar Nebula. The ship's logs revealed that they were attacked by a space pirate raiding vessel. What is the logic in disrupting a Federation training mission? They're pirates. How could they resist a prize like that? That never would have happened if I'd been there. Then it's a shame you weren't. The pirates boarded the Valhalla and gained access to the ship's Aurora unit, 313. This is how they were able to hack into the network and plant the virus. Thanks to our security protocols, we were able to shut down the network before the damage from the virus became irreversible. But we're still vulnerable. If the pirates decide to launch a major offensive, we'd be hard-pressed to defend ourselves. We must rid the other AUs of that virus and bring the network back online. That's where you come in. We need you to deliver the vaccine to each of the AUs in this system. We'd also like you to investigate the pirates' activity in the area. We need to know what they're up to. Condition red. All personnel to combat ready stations. Repeat. Condition red. Sir, a space pirate attack fleet has just warped out of some sort of wormhole. They're also heading for Sector Zero, the planet's home base. Damn! They're targeting the planetary defense system. Get down to the planet and aid the ground troops. Stop those pirates from disabling the defense system. Go! Right. In a fight? Or... Animations are definitely old school, not great. <laughs> the acting, voice acting... Eh. Right, so... Find a way back to your ship. Okay. Seems like you are a little bit faster than in the, the Prime Remastered here. Well, oh, the original Prime also. It's a nice pace. Samus, get to your ship. We need you down on the planet. Till we get the fleet in formation. All right. Launch all fighter squadrons. I want them. Yeah, the H four here. Woo -hoo. I don't think I would need to see targeting as much, to be quite honest, but... Yeah, I'm probably gonna use it just for, I don't know, the prime feeling. Like... I can pretty much just... aim without it, without any C targeting. Man, this looks really great with like all this bright classic game with really the HDR area. It's a nice nice look. Hey. So far I can recommend if you like this to definitely you know try this one out. Music. <laughs> Let's music. Not fast enough.
I didn't need to twist the control. That's good. But this hack has uh, really thought of a lot of the little details. You just press uh, W key on your keyboard, or as me, I mapped it to my joystick forward. Hello? Oh, okay. Okay, so they want me to escape, I guess. Or should I fight this one? So, oh. I don't know if I should uh, like escape this or find a way way back to your ship. I can go down here, go here. Okay, there we go. Okay. Max increased. Can I? Oh, oops. Very confusing start here, but uh, I guess the primary mass also had you kind of like thrown into a crazy mix, so. Can I? Okay, that's the yum. There we go. I'm just trying to learn all of the... the oh, the V-Sync. Um, can I try it? Oh, oops something on this or for this um graphics v-sync uh if wait for very blank and blah blah prevent the tearing i'm gonna try to, to just have v-sync on here uh four times super sampling six times native i'm upscaling to 4k with four times uh, super sampling oh yeah I probably could turn down a lot of these things <laughs> Quite uh, crazy. If it uh, starts running, um, like if it starts running a little bit interesting, I might tweak. Try to tweak down the graphical settings. But it's running good so far. I'm turn on VSync to see if that's gonna help here with the tearing. Not, not too crazy tearing, but here and there. But I seem to be having quite good 60 frames performance anyway. Whee! do in a spacesuit, no one can hear you scream. Bom, bom, bom. It does feel really great. And yeah. I'm sure there's people that's gonna be, uh, you know, think this is an abomination with the mouse and keyboard hack, but. I'm using a controller, so yes, there's a Steam controller here in mouse emulation. It's just big. I don't know why people uh, couldn't adopt this Steam controller more. The Valve didn't shut it down. Just such an amazing controller if you just take your time and configure it and just don't treat it as a plug and play. It's not the best controller for everything. Um, just like. Uh, you know, racing simulators, you want a wheel, 
you can use other uh, devices like a gamepad but the wheel is what you want to have it's the same with this one it's really great for fps and stuff but you know it's lacking a d-pad so for some 2d games and some games that you know are optimized for uh, dual sticks top down games and otherwise it's not gonna be the best but overall it's a really great fps games just is really amazing with this one and it has a really nice gyro oops do that yeah i don't really need a lock on with this uh, mod but i'm probably gonna use it on bosses and stuff anyways it just it makes the the, the gameplay smoother is my mouse isn't or my movement isn't like jittering I might use it so it gets less of this for you guys going back and forward uh, when I'm playing this live nothing to scan but I don't need the lock, out, lock on for for this gameplay so far get a missile and I got started when you watch this playing uh, Hall of Night Live now I'm just curious this actually got me interesting in maybe maybe alternate between the Hall of Night and this one <laughs> press the fire shoot while locked onto a target with speed fire homing missile Okay. There we go, okay. That was how my mapping was going for the missiles. How many do I have? Four out of five. Is my ship? Wait a minute. Yeah, this way. Yeah, this way. Okay, so it's only... Okay. The canvas can be used to find useful blah 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 blah. Mm -hmm. Oops, wrong button. So that's uh, they want us to do that. Overall, I feel that the textures here with the, with the upscaling here looks uh, perfectly fine for the most part. It might look a little bit dated, but like, yeah, I don't know. I think this art style isn't isn't too bad badly age when you have you know emulated upscaling you like the movement speed there it feels really nice and smooth my ship Ooh, yeah baby let's go look at that it still looks like there was a like a tearing a little bit there so i might turn off v-sync again if it doesn't help I still get tearing there's no reason to have v-sync on here get in the ship come on that's a big boy run 
run. That model's textures um, definitely looks uh, <laughs> much more dated. Parasite plant plating on his head can only be destroyed by projectiles. Oh, interesting. Whoa! Oh, okay. Whoa, hello. goes back but we can destroy we need to destroy Oof. <laughs> a good introduction boss I feel what do you hope it's audio is good it peaks a little bit on the louder side sometimes so yeah, that boss model I feel hasn't maybe aged the best, but not terrible. The, the base textures are pretty sharp. Alright. Yeah, I think I'm gonna turn uh, VSync off again. It does, it's not a big problem, but it doesn't seem to really get rid of the ear. I still have it hearing, so since I still have it hearing, it's not really that. Uh, <laughs> that big of a deal uh, so let me let me do that graphics easing general yeah. um there was one thing um i think it was to do to do this the shader compilation uh, that you needed to have on hybrid uber shadows or uber shaders or something like that i think i'd switch to like exclusive uber shaders or something and then the game didn't look correctly but the default settings works fine but if it uh, if you mess around with the settings that it, before starting the game it looks very weird um reset the settings to the default and then tweak one setting at a time because I think it was the saver, the shader setting that one of them that didn't work, the ones that's supposed to be the uh, best, like the best that does prevent like pop-ins. Um, but it's it looks uh, really nice now, so it's a problem here.
I think this could have been skipped and just, uh, you know. <laughs> oh, alright. And just take me to the place. But maybe it will be like an open world that you can then switch more stuff. Or maybe go back and forwards between different worlds on your own. So then it makes sense. The space texture here also, you know, you can definitely feel that it's quite an old one. <laughs> Probably gonna remove the FPS uh, display soon also. Just, it runs great, there's no need to have the FPS displayed all the time. That's uh, definitely an old looking texture thing. also seem to be one like four pixel like in the middle graphical glitch here now and then <laughs> not super distracting or anything but it's there sometimes i notice it you can see it in on this screen like in the middle uh, i was first thinking it was like my monitor but it's not because good. now it's gone the pirate attack has knocked out our generators and disabled the planetary defense system this cannon was our only weapon capable of taking out orbiting ships. We need you and the other hunters to get the generators back online and restore power to the cannon so we can repulse this assault. I'm uploading the generator coordinates to you now. Good hunting. So this seems weird. If we're gonna start with Morph Ball, Double Yarn, Missiles... Uh, in the previous games it have definitely been... What? Get generated C back online. Which is generated C? I get at the power again? Is the grappling? Okay, I'm guessing we gotta lose this. We can't get this already. Oh god, that seems like it's gonna be a challenge for me. sure which one I used for grappling. It's very different compared to previous uh, Prime games so far. I'm, I'm just I'm wondering if this is the, like the introduction? Or if it's like not? Because it feels a bit weird to have all this power, so you know. And I'm, I'm lucky getting powers? Uh, lock onto your point and
Hmm. It'll be interesting with the grapple how that's gonna. It'll be interesting seeing uh, you how this this will play out. Okay, so. How the grappling is gonna work with uh, you know <laughs> the mouse and keyboard mode here it seems that it probably will work but never know Okay, so this is just kind of to guide me. Huh. What? Some kind of timing there. You can uh, Okay, apparently the first one missed. <laughs> feels really nice in this one though. Okay, so red door is inside the door. Behind, did not. Oh, okay.
I need to scan these bad boys or Hello? Homing attacks with commander. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, what is this? What? Did we get that fast there? hole to bring up the wiser ceiling so that's not that one which uh, which one is it to hold move cursor into the lower right zone please it Okay, look on to see. Uh, I don't think I have the the like the visor thing mapped to my Steam controller or anything. Um, <laughs> I think that's why it's a little bit weird for this situation. Um, yeah, do, 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 do. let's just carry on here. Oh no, not enter the ship. Um, I also think I'm gonna try to take the FPS off. Um, And down a little bit here, don't think difference. Okay. Uh, let's do a little bit more testing here.
Um, oops. I double check something. Okay, yeah, yeah, we are running good. Yes, yes. Oh, it's one of those that you need to... Weapons. Good. Oh my god, it, it's like the first one that, with the spinning boss. One of the most annoying boss ever. You like, have to spin around too much. <laughs> or good it wasn't too much. Not a good thing, having just quickly spinning enemies like that. Can I... I can. It is a solid test. I am. I mean, to be quite honest, I just don't think that um, all of these like modern things that they added really enhance it so far. At least not for me. Um, nice and all, but hmm. I prefer more of the traditionally first prime so far. I kind of wish that I would have played the first prime with this good aiming. Samus, but... are you reading me? <laughs> Something big is happening up here. What in the name of... Wrong button. <laughs> what should I go back or?
have no idea. Seems like there's something you can do with that, but... confused if it just wants me to go back, to be quite honest. Guessing that's probably it. Yes, it was. Yeah. I suppose to use the red door, maybe? Oh. This door was blocked previously or un not working. So far, I think, me personally, I just think that, you know, the original Prime, the Prime Remaster, just felt more like in a smoother pacing than this one. Yeah, so I'm getting... Out and go to one of the other question marks? Only thing that I can think of. Or the objectives. Logba. going the right way. Yes. I think I'm gonna be done with the last right here, but I'm definitely gonna do uh, 
let's play like a streaming trying that oh right uh, because it's it still uh, seems interesting I suppose it's best specifically to try this with the uh, great and uh, nice movement of the nice uh, mouse emulation here but yeah i don't know maybe i should have gone with prime view instead maybe that would be like more streamlined streamlined like the first one and more in line form okay so one done and maybe that would have been more my style uh, not impossible that that's the case. And do -do 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 -do. The people that wanted more extra, you know, fluff around might definitely like this more. Does it go this way? Our scans of the media have detected massive quantities of phase up. It could be some sort of bomb. Okay. Maybe that was the wrong way I went. Maybe I have to go this way. That's not working. Can I do? Or for this, I'm gonna do a quick, quick look here to see if we can do. Manage my controller layout. Um, triggers. Pull, pull on the right trigger. Left mouse click. Soft pull. Uh, right trigger behavior. trigger um I could have a hip fire maybe for this one hip fire normal I'm gonna try hip fire and that is 
hopefully gonna be very clear very soon. Go. Try this. Hopefully, this will make sense. Okay, I need to tweak it a little bit faster. I want. So I want an auto fight because we're gonna be mashing uh, quite a lot, I believe. Um, and I don't want to be mashing. It will also make. The, you know, if I do an auto-firing on my right trigger, uh, it will also make this, the image will be more stable since I'm not going to be mashing, ma mashing as crazy. Let me try this one. Met. All right. Unfortunately, I can't do this in a better way. So, um, it's it's kind of like a, a trial and error. You need to. It worked better in the previous uh, previous uh, Steam thing. Um, I don't know. They have messed up everything. Now you have to like write and different like auto fire settings. I want it to be a little bit faster than that. Damn it. I don't know what Beam has done with the new UI, but it is so bad. I'm sorry for you having to see it, but it's also good to show how terrible, terrible the new UI is. Ah. I really don't understand it. Like the repeat. Repeating is so weird. You you really have to like just try. Okay, that's fifty percent on the slider or fifty on the slider made a good uh, make it work good. Okay. Yeah, this will be better instead of me mashing. It will make it everything else more stable. Oh, oh, here we go. Right. But yeah. In the previous UI, you pretty much all all. The will the soon. Do, 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 okay. You you are pretty much needed to uh, press the like the the slider all the way uh, to the max. And in the new UI, you have to like five different values. <laughs> oh, there we go. We are a little mini enemy boss type almost. <laughs> mini boss. Come on, again.
I do wonder if uh, Prime 2 would have been better for me. Samus, I was able to get Generator B back online. If you need any help, oh, here they go again. Because I felt it just felt more of a streamlined, nicer paced uh, experience, the first one. It might change after if we get all of this. Um, regenerated and stuff it might take all of our powers away and it will be a normal thing um all oh, right The doors like this, I don't know, I think the regular doors were pretty fine. I don't think this adds a lot having to shoot in that different patterns. <laughs> But it's not a bad game, it's just... Oh, I think I prefer the first one so far. I will do a start streaming this in one point or and another. But maybe I should do the second one. Or maybe do the second one after this one with this uh, nice little prime hack thing going on here. Because this feels great. Um, like the movement here is great. Speed. Wait. Oh, you know, just moving around feels amazing. This hack is just absolutely great. I feel that they up the speed just a little bit compared to other ones. And it looks great with HDR, and you know, even if this or some of the animation takes a little bit data, it still looks you know like fun. An interesting art style. I do like the Prime Remaster graphic better, but it still holds up here. I just wish I could get the tearing gone, but I don't. It's not that often, and I don't want to mess with it because it's running great anyway. I'm afraid that if I mess too much, um, <laughs> we'll mess something else up. Samus, our efforts to slow the meteor have failed. You must hurry. Gauge, upper piston. Uh, what do you guys mean? <laughs> I'm a little bit confused about this one sometimes. Okay, so there's something still I need to do in this room. There's a question mark. Engage, upper piston, something, something. And how do I do that? Something's happening. Oh. Mm-hmm. 
Interesting. Usel. I'm guessing you want me to go this way? Oh, thank God, I can't fall off. What? Okay. Okay, so I get this one. Oh, I have to do this entire... No? Get this part. Okay. This. Okay, I have to do that. And then... Um, that's done. I don't think I can go all the way up. Uh huh. Oof. So I cannot fall off now so far. It's good. <laughs> Being a little bit scared here. There we go. <laughs> Interesting puzzle. see shit. I have no idea what's going on right now. This is not good. <laughs> Oh my god, what in the name of... Oh, that is... Oh, weird. What the hits of this boss? This is not good. <laughs> Ooh. I hope there's something with the fine hat graphic that is messed up because the, the boss health bar is straight up blocking everything for me. Oh, what's going... What the... Oh, this sucks ass. Ooh. This is awful. Oh, so bad. This is definitely up in my top, like, 10 worst boss I've ever. This, this is not fun or good or anything. What the heck? Oh, sometimes you wonder who makes these bosses and play test and then think like, oh my god, this is awesome! Ah. 
<laughs> Holy crap, what the shit. Uh, oh my god, so shit, boss. Ooh. Uh, I'm getting dizzy from that, so I'm gonna stop this let's try here. It's been a long let's try, I think, so... I haven't counted the exact time. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, maybe the second one would have been better for me. I don't know. Yeah, I think I'm gonna stop here. That, that boss made me this. Uh, that was not a good fight. Uh, but yeah. So, it runs great, it's, you know, it has an interesting feel, it's still a question mark in this one, is it because I need to do this? Yeah, probably. Um, and when I do my let's play, you know, with the stream that I'm thinking about, I'm probably gonna start all over from the beginning. Um, I might, you know, do a little bit of Hollow Knight and then jump into this. So I'm probably gonna need to relearn stuff. Not sure, maybe I will save and I will continue. Yeah, I, you know what, I'm gonna go to the save. I'm, I'm probably gonna continue from, from this. I don't wanna do this boss again. So, there we go. Let's go to the save... save room. It'd be down here. Yeah, I don't want to do that. that yeah, yeah. Uh, I do want to play more of this. I like the graphical uh, oomph of it. I like the movement tech here and... I just wanna wonder how it feels when I maybe it opens up more to the more of exploration type. Now it's been more of a linear pushing me, uh, like introducing me to stuff. Um. Now that the defense system is back online, you must get to the control tower and fire the defense. We are uploading the location of the control tower. All right, and to the control tower. Um, yeah, I, you know, part of me definitely feels like that it would be fun doing this uh, final part here, but uh, it could be a long one with the boss fight, so I'm gonna stop here anyway uh, because I wonder what happens. If we fire this cannon, maybe then it will open up. Maybe I will lose my abilities or something, or it will just change. But I'm gonna stop here anyway. I think this is a good enough try. Um, let's try. Um, wait. Yes. Yo, right? Uh, let's, let's talk about this maybe, let's see what's happening here, loading, just wanna hope everything's got saved correctly, alright, looks like it, perfect, um, yeah, it's interesting, like the prime hack is amazing, how it feels and everything, the movement is just, whoa, even uh, yeah, like by today's standard, the movement with this hack feels really great. The graphics are dated, but you know, like the main textures. Alright. Might be a little bit loud. So let's, uh, let's quick, quickly exit that one. Yes. Here we go. Uh, yeah, the movement, even by today's standard, feels nice, fluid, great. Textures, you know, they are, the main textures, the walls are sharp looking with this dolphin, uh, with the prime hack here, uh, and upscaled. 
some of the animation voice actions are a little bit on the rougher edges but you know the game main gameplay are definitely still solid you know i, I definitely feel that this is the way i should have experienced the original prime it was still the prime remaster with the uh, you know using my right pad to emulate like the mouse thing and the yeah, it was still really overall good uh but this game you know the base speed feels better it feels like it's a bit faster than the, the original prime remastered i like that but all of this kind of like extra fluff with the ship and do these things to open a door feels like yeah no really adds nothing so far to me and having to be in the ship and like do 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 dot it dot it enter hack symbols not really adds anything to the gameplay for me so far when i enjoy this is when i'm just walking around and i'm like oh i can morph ball into this area oh look i can take this oh i can't go this way yet i need to go that's when the strength is for me that uh, the strength the original had and enhancing it with good aim and good mood movement here that's great um but all of the extra like the dialogue also i don't think it adds like that much to me i prefer the less like the the story being told in a f more quicker non-verbalized way in the arena pri prime than going here and uh, having characters talk and telling some story i don't think it really adds uh, to this game and i've seen a little bit of the 2d games also and the dread and i think the prime thing about the game is that the story kind of like is the back seat and here i feel like they're trying to take the story and put it in the front and it doesn't really add for me personally but I will do, like, I think this is a perfect, again, stream thing for me. Since I want to stream more. Like the Hall of Night, it was a stream thing. And if people comes in and, uh, you know, the help is fine, hints is fine and stuff like that. It's not, I don't feel I need to experience this game in a, you know, like a video form where I kind of like don't have to decide if i want to look things up or not or stuff like that and i feel that this is also a game like the first one which can be a lot of like wandering and just going weird stuff and that's not good for video format that probably need to be cut down but for streaming it's better and so i will dive in more into this maybe it will be done live by the time this video goes live uh we'll see but i will put the link down below to the prime hack github page and if you have an HDR monitor, and if you can run this with, at least with NVIDIA, Auto HDR works, and it, I think it adds to this game. You, when you blast, you get these highlights cranked up. It also adds a little bit of like the oomphs, uh, the colors, the saturation might be a bit high, but you can tweak it with uh, the Auto HDR slider. So I recommend that. It was fun. But I still think that for me, the first Prime is better. Maybe I should, after this one, take a peek at the Prime 2. I just went with this because I heard several and read that this was the best of the Prime 3D tri 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 trilogy. I don't agree so far. One is much, much, much better. <laughs> um, not perfect, but it's better. It had its, its yankiness. It was still fun, but yeah the movement speed is the best thing with this uh this uh this game so far but yeah stay tuned for more of this you can like comment like subscribe to this you know look back to the channel whatever you feel like and just have a great day till next time bye for now